Hi, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. Today is Friday, July 3rd, and I was working on um, just cleaning up some stuff around the house. And although I, these videos are usually on computers and technology and all those other things, yet today I got ambitious and I thought about one of my old belt buckles, and uh, it's silver, it's beautiful. Uh, but I haven't worn it in years because I got rid of my cowboy boots, I got rid of my cowboy stuff, Yet I'm thinking about it now again. Um, I had a pair of Justins. I had those are really great boots. And this belt buckle I got in Winnemucca in 1997 or 98, and um, I got it as a gift for, both for myself for retiring from Microsoft, but also um, just being a cowboy. I mean, I'm a farm boy, but you know the difference between farm boys and cowboys. Farms don't have horses, and ranches do. So a farm, no cows. Ranches or Farms, no horses. Ranches have horses. So I grew up as a farm boy, so we didn't have horses. My dad didn't like horses anyhow because they ate the bark off all of our trees. So anyhow, I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I'm going to clean this belt buckle, and it's pretty nasty. But anyhow, um, Andy, Mountain Computers, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to show you a quick video on how to cl I'm going to clean this belt buckle that hasn't been cleaned in 20 years. So hold still. Thanks, bye. Okay, so as you can see... Uh, I'm going to be quiet on my voice because that was really loud. As you can see, I have a belt buckle here. Okay? It's my belt buckle. That's the only about. Um, anything special here? Uh, it says Bob Burge Original. And you can see it's pretty well rusted or tarnished. Not rusted, but tarnished. Um, but yeah, it's a great belt. Um, this is my belt. It's a 36, 34, 33, whatever. And then this I got for my wife to work on her, her jewelry. Silver jewelry cleaner. So technically this is silver, mostly silver. And I got this little Tupperware. Okay. So let's just take this apart real quick. Okay. So just pop this out. <clears throat> Put that to the side. Great belt. Still fits. Now. I'm going to take this cleaner here. It's got its own basket and stuff like that. Should I put it in there? Or just pour it out? No, I'm just going to pour it out. This is clean. I'm just going to pour this out. I'm going to pour the whole thing in there, okay? Because I want to submerge this thing. Okay, now watch. I don't know how long, but I'm going to put it face down, okay? So, there we go. I'm going to read the instructions and see how long. Soak for 10 seconds maximum. Okay, 10 seconds. All right, coming up on 10 seconds. Wow, well, that's pretty fast. Can you see that? Okay, I'll zoom in on it. Should show you closer. Hmm. Wow, hopefully this does. I'm just gonna give a little bath. Well, that's more than 10 seconds, so let's take it out. Yeah, so that's what it looks like now. Oh, that's good or bad. Maximum 10 seconds, huh? Well, you can read a lot better now. Hmm. Right. So put it back in there for a little bit. I got this product at uh, Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy. Had to find it. It wasn't easy to find. Well, I don't like to uh, not follow directions. So, at that point, I'm going to take this out, set it over here, and pour this back into the container. So you can reuse it. Nothing wrong with that. Keep it away from the leather. I'm not wearing gloves, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so that's what that looks like now. Gosh, I wish I had it closer sooner or later. But that's it. Looks better. I wish it should take a toothbrush to it, something soft. Hmm. Okay, well that's it. 
Okay, that was the uh, video <laughs> on uh, how to clean my belt buckle. Let me see if I can clean it up with some water, and I'll be right back and post this. Thanks, bye-bye. Okay, so I just finished rinsing it and uh, with water, and uh, I think it's okay. It's okay. I don't know. It's one of my good old belt buckles. I got when I first came to uh, Nevada. I took a, um, a soft sponge and rubbed it. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Did I do it right or wrong? Didn't even think about the edges. Hmm. Anyhow, I'll throw this back on my belt and we'll go from there. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, and share. It's Andy from Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune Up Guy. Have a great day and have a happy 4th of July. Bye bye. Okay, so I polished this a little bit, uh, this belt buckle, and um, it turned out really good. Amazing. Yeah. Let's see the light. Amazing. Um, yeah, this Connoisseur's Silver Jewelry Cleaner. Oh, it's got a leak from the top, even though it's huh, crazy. So anyhow, yeah, I took a soft cloth and polished it. Looks really good. You know, I had a, a matching belt buckle for my wife at the time, and I gave that away. Um, it was hers. It had uh, rubies in it. And this one here was pretty much straight up. <clears throat> yeah, it had real rubies. Same thing, smaller version, but with rubies. So, anyhow, I love my belt buckle. Um, I'm just going to put this back on here. Yeah, just grab this. Um, just put this right in here. And by the way, yeah, this is uh, Bob Burge, original number 70. I don't know if it has, uh, how much value it has, but put this back in here like this. And you know what? I'm going to wear it. I'm going to go get some cowboy boots, go back to my roots, you know. Uh, I've been in Nevada for, I don't know, since 1997, late 1997, so Winnemucca, land in Winnemucca and Reno and, and stuff, but yeah, this is a nice cleanup, nice uh, rendition for my friends at ACTRA, American Cowboy Team Roping Association, oh man, I tell you, I love um, good looking uh, belt buckles, but this one here is an oldie. Oldie but a goodie. It's not as big as the other ones, like some of my cowboy friends, but we're only like three or four blocks from the uh, Livestock Event Center where the Reno Rodeo occurs. And all the events for uh, Nevada, Northern Nevada and Western Nevada, have been canceled for 2020. Like hot August nights and street vibrations and you name it, so. But unfortunately, the Reno Rodeo and hopefully ACTRA Nationals will be conducted. We'll see. But in the meantime, that's my belt buckle. It's pretty cool. I have a hard time seeing up close. My vision's starting to go up close, but long range and yeah, this is a nice belt. A really nice belt. It's a little warpage. <laughs> you know how it is. Let's see. You can see what. Um, that's funny about this belt. Um, I had to put in some holes because I was so thin. Down to a 30... I was a 36 waist. Now I'm a 32 waist. I was a 40 for a while. But I'm going to go back to a 30 waist here shortly. My wife likes me a little bit... Be, my wife likes me to be husky. So I was 210. Dropped to 190. Right now I'm 201, so... This belt buckle will serve me well if I wear it right. So, anyhow, enough said. I know. If you got spare time, clean up your silver. Alright, cowboys. Cowboy up, number one. Enjoy this. This is a great belt buckle. I don't know, maybe it's collectors. Who knows? I'll post it. Take care. Everybody be safe out there. And uh, happy 4th of July. Bye-bye. This is Andy from Mountain Computers, signing off.